That's when I finished it, yeah. And I was like, this is the time to watch it yeah. at home. Yeah, yeah, This is the time. And I think I crushed it in like a week and a half. Wow. Okay, I savored yeah. it. I like, I parceled <laughs> it out. I, I didn't even sleep. Much you like, like yeah. there's nothing to wake up for. Much Why like I sleep? Tony <laughs> eating gabagool. Gabagool. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, I, I don't know who's Italian in the room, but it's, okay, there you yeah. go. It's capicola, right? Yeah. That's what I've heard. That's that's what yeah. the meat is. Yeah. And I feel like right. I am favoring. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I, I know. I hope you look. I know stand. what I know what it's called. I just yes, yes. No, we got I you. Got to call a guy. Yeah. I'm just making sure yeah. everyone at home knows yeah. that's the meat. It if you want to order it at a deli, yeah, right, that's what it is. We should introduce Capital. our guest today. Uh, <laughs> Britt Miggs is with us. Uh, thanks for thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. Yeah, this is so special. This is so awesome. Thanks for coming. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to formally meet you. Yeah, yeah. you're Italian. What's your last name? Cara. Cara. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice yeah. and short. Yeah. Well, so it's a stage name. But it's <laughs> So is mine. I Oh yeah. I, it's fake. Was it like Miglioli? Base you actually got it. That's it. Are, that you, guys, is, ah, yes. are you guys related? Is that Bison. 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 No, it's uh Mignelli. Oh, okay. But I use Brit Migs because no one can fucking say that. Am I yeah, like that's why I changed my name. Yeah, yeah, okay. of course. Sorry. <laughs> say anything. Yeah, can. whatever you want. Butts. Okay, yeah, that's great. Butts. <laughs> yeah. Just butts. That's what I that's, that's my slur. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's <a> slur. <laughs> <laughs> Would butts be a slur? I don't know. I don't know. For asses. For asses. Yeah. Okay, so wait, what's your real last name? Are you allowed to say it on air? I, I don't care. It's uh, Smarina. Smarina? Yeah, yeah. How'd you get Kara out of that? It's half of my mom's maiden name. Ooh, okay, fun. Yeah, she's Very Irish. Fun. All right. Yeah. She's not even part of the tribe, but. No, no well, okay. <laughs> she's been inducted. She's been in it long yeah. enough. Right, 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 right. She's, she's an honorary Italian. Yeah. And like, you know, when there's a party, she knows what to get. Yeah. She knows the meats and cheeses. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She, she's good at that. Got what's you. your What's your favorite meat, meat and or cheese? Um, so my nonno, which is an Italian grandpa, right. mm -hmm. um, he was home curing prosciutto. So I had like the oh. freshest prosciutto. <laughs> My entire life growing up. And um, so that's probably my favorite. And pasta wise, it's like a tie between gnocchi and angel hair. But okay. Okay. Yeah. Some good gnocchi really kicks ass. It, yeah. it does. You know it's, what I like is a graminia. What is that? I don't know. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, um, it's like, um, it's hard to describe. It's, it. There's a restaurant like called La Picora Bianca. <gasps> I love Picora. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to work there. Oh, have we talked about this? Maybe. Okay, there's one on the Upper East Side now, which is yes. where I live now. Yeah. And they have really good pasta. Yeah. Nick? La Picora, big, what is it? La Picora Bianca. Which okay. means the, the white, white lamb. lamb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The white lamb. Yeah. Okay. The, mm -hmm. I worked at the the original location in Nomad. Um, yep. They, there's, one, there's one on Prince Street, I think. Mm -hmm. They're they're yeah. multiplying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're multiplying. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a barista there. Okay. They have this, they have this graminia. It's like... Um, it's I forgot what what it what it um, it looks like it it looks like um what's the what's the twisty not fusilli not, yes it kind of looks, looks like, like fusilli that, but, a little bit but fatter uh thinner thinner yeah okay, it sounds really good it's they they, they, they it's got uh, red chili flakes chopped mm. up it's like ground pork chopped up broccolini. Mm -hmm. okay. It's delicious. Can't go wrong with that. Should we order that. food? I'm like I'm so <laughs> yeah we'll go after this yeah, yeah. It's, it's we'll get delicious. dinner after this yeah yeah. That's I perfect. Used to, That's what the pros do. Yeah. <laughs> Their tagliatelle is pretty good too. Yeah. I've had, I, I think I've had like every pasta they have because yeah. it's so close to me. So I yeah. like, I go there now. It's Their very, menu very used to be a lot more expanded before the pandemic. But mm. man, I like people would order uh -huh. like at the Nomad location. And like, like I was a runner on when I wasn't, uh, when I wasn't a barista and like some people would like order and not eat. And I'm like, this is coming back I'm to Queens. I'm taking that. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's how you know you have money. Yeah. Like, I have to watch my fish. Actually, yeah. I can't finish the cacio e pepe. And, just, okay. and I don't even want the extra in my fridge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why not take a doggy bag? Yeah. No. Yeah. They, they I would live just... off of leftovers. Yeah. Same. Portion, like full on huge portions. I'd be like, this is coming home with me. So Yeah. That's insane. That's the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah that's the right thing to do. Yeah. I worked at um Cold Stone Creamery oh. uh, ah. when I was in high school. And every night that you worked a shift or day or whatever, you got to take home a gotta have it. And I'm, I don't know if you're familiar with What's their sizing. That's the that's the biggest size, right? <laughs> yes, it's it's wow. like it, love it, gotta have it. 
Um, okay. And so you, that was like your tip. Except, I mean, you also had oh, some. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> th- thank Thanks you. for my bucket of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that. But like, also, when I was in high school, I could eat whatever the fuck I wanted. Yeah, yeah. So I ate a gotta have it every time I had a shift. It was incredible. Any right. flavor? Anything you want. So like, that's wow. the thing with, you know, you, you mix up whatever you want. And so, you know, because it. I'm like, I don't know how, when the last time you've been to a cold soda is, but no. they, you make your own flavor. Yeah. It's like you get the base and then you put whatever you like want. Mix-ins in. and yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I would see my, my, I never, I never did any mix-ins because I feel like by the time they, you get the scoops and they put mm-hmm. it on the slab and they're doing this, there's heat. There's some kind of no, heat. No, it, it melts a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I, I want solid ice cream. Solid ice cream. You like a solid chunk mm-hmm. of ice cream? Mm-hmm. I like it. I liked that yeah. about it. Yeah. Because I like when like the spoon kind of floats. Sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. Just a little bit. Flag. But like I this like sometimes you'd get it. Get melty. It's like yeah. I don't want to get carpal tunnel with the ice cream. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know. I but I don't what I don't want is a milkshake. I want ice cream. You want solid ice cream? Yeah. Listen. Yeah. If I was your mix master, that's what we're called. Um, I would. <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> that's the name. Hell yeah. Get it right. I love. I love when f- <laughs> like fast food places give like Subway. They're, right. they're, they're called sandwich artists. artists. Sandwich artists. Oh, yeah. that's hilarious to me. I'm I always like, call them sandwich autists. <laughs> <laughs> autists. But it's like, yeah. Thank you so much for calling me a mix master. I'm making seven twenty five an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's I, not changing that. I can well, at least get a up, title. You grew up in Long Island, right? Yes. Which Which location did you work at? It was the one by the Walt Whitman Mall. Oh, that was way you out there. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that was close to where I grew up. So. I sprained my ACL at that mall. What? Yeah. Doing what? I went to try to get a girl's number. <gasps> I slipped in a puddle. Did she juke you? And it was listen. She was hard to catch. Uh, was, guys, you have a break your ACL yeah. trying to get a good lady. <laughs> <laughs> this one was slippery. She was like Ray Rice. Uh, I was trying to wrestle her. Yeah, <laughs> she was quick, man. Uh, no, um, so I she turn was, on a dime. She that walked. Lady. She walked past me. Yeah. And then um, I was with my friends and they were like, oh, yeah, you should go get her number. So I was like, all right. And then like I kind of did that weird slow jog thing. Mm. And then I slipped uh-huh. in a puddle. Uh, and that's like I, rough. My knee, my knee turned and popped. I, I was, oh, no. I was nineteen, so like, I, I healed quick. Yeah. Right, right. Had I known, I would have just milked it and sued. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean the Walt Whitman Mall. Yeah. They have money. Yeah, yeah, that's way right. out there. That's Smithtown, a nice, right? ah, like Farmingdale. Yeah, area? yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Mm. Melville is like because I went to co- I went to co- college at Westbury. Oh. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. I was born in Stony Brook. Were you? Okay. Yeah. Look oh. at that. Sunnybrook is a good hospital. Yeah. I didn't get to live there. Was, well. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Florida. Where? A little bit of like apartments in Boca. Okay. And then a little bit of Orlando. I went to UCF. Whoa. In Orlando. Golden yeah. Knights. I had Go a Knights. scholarship to UCF. for. Uh, they gave scholarships to uh, problem kids. <laughs> and, they were like, we're going to fix you. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> and they were like, here's, uh, there's some students that they think that they're therapists and they're going to talk to you. I'm like, I'm just poor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm fine. All right, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and you're going to get a small scholarship to UCF. And then I moved to New York halfway through high school. Mm. And I was like, do I still get that? And they're like, no. You're right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we took Stay it back. Yeah, yeah. Try Rutgers. Stupid. <laughs> nice. Where did you end up? Uh, College of Staten Island. There you go. That's it. All right. That's very Italian. That's the UCF like. of oh, yeah. Staten Island. That's where that's, you go to yeah, learn. That's the UCF of Staten Island. Yeah. It, it pretty much is. You know, it's, it, all of your friends from high school go there. Yeah. Nice. And But there's just more trees. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's very, very cool. Yeah. Wait, where yeah. did you? I'm sorry. I'm doing the interview now. No, that's I'm fine. Like, I'm asking you, where did you grow up? Uh, I was born in Manhattan, but I'm, I grew up in Queens mostly. Right. I knew that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. But I know, I know all about Long Island. I, I'm well versed. I mm. feel like you might know, know more than I do. I mean- Maybe it's Maybe. possible. I don't know. I don't have a lot of hometown pride, which like I don't. That's a good thing. You know, I'm People not who like love where they're from well, too much or annoying. Wait, what town did you grow up in then? Uh, well, was, I was born at Winthrop Hospital. If you're familiar, in Mineola. Yes. Okay. Um, and yeah. then I'm gonna sit over I, here. <laughs> well, you guys Mineola it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mineola yeah. it up. And then um, I grew up in like the Dix Hills, Melville. That's money area. out there, bro. <laughs> there's money in Dix Hills. Oh yeah. There's, oh, yeah. Uh, there's a mix. I figured there's there'd some, be AIDS in Dix some, Hills. No, no, no. Yeah. There's some cash they, in those hills. I know. Every time I I went anywhere and was like, yeah, I'm from Dix Hills. People are like, you're from Dix Hills, and yeah. I'm like, it's D I X. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not. That sounds Dix. more southern yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Dix Hills. Yeah. Now. yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. The Dixie was, Hills. There's mm-hmm. some. There's some money out there. Oh yeah. It's not like centralized money, but I mean, it's close. 
See, I don't know. I don't get the reference. I'm but... trying to. I'm trying to think of like. <laughs> You're like that doesn't help me understand. No. Yeah, yeah. I don't know Staten Island well enough to make a comparison. Make a comparison. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I, I, I know, I, I know, like the Hamptons. So yeah. I know that much. Well, but... that's like that's yeah, crazy. That's way out. That's, yeah. like that's... celebrity level. Money. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're doing throwing white parties and they yeah. Have yachts. I went to with... one in the Did Hamptons. You? What? Place. Yeah, yeah. Whose was, was it? It was like some magazine event and Ooh, um, fancy. Yeah, well, it was my friend, uh, she was getting uh, like a write up in an article, and she's like, "You want to come to this with me?" And I'm like, "All right, yeah." You never say no to those. No, nah, and I went. Totally. It was really cool. It was like a lot of like different kinds of like singers and mm-hmm. like actors and shit like mm-hmm. that. Like, nobody too famous. Yeah, sure. Like, but the, like the the whole event was kind of working around. Um, uh, this guy from Big Time Rush, the Nickelodeon thing. Oh yeah, I remember them. Yeah, so I'm too old for that. They went like solo. <laughs> I'm like, we're closer in age, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 38. I was just, I I was just tapped in. Yeah. You know? yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I wasn't paying attention. Nothing. Yeah, that, that's like I'm like right on the cusp. Yeah, like I'll know who that is. Yeah, but I don't know songs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. I'm like I'm I vaguely like right. I know there was a show. Yeah. Yeah, I know it was them and Jonas Brothers. Like they were like the I've Nickelodeon answer to Jonas Brothers. Sure, like sure, that. sure. Oh, okay, okay. Whatever okay. it was. Because so, Jonas Brothers were what, Disney? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. Uh and they were like big. Mm-hmm. But like the uh, the other versions were like whatever. Mm-hmm. Um mm-hmm. and so I guess they all got like they all turned 30. And right. uh kids' shows didn't want them anymore. So they Just went solo. The fuck out, yeah. So uh uh James Maslow was the guy. Mm. And he uh was like doing his big solo debut and he had a song about sexting. <laughs> well, that's what you do when you turn 30. You yeah. make a song about now it's sexting. Appropriate. Yeah. Now it's appropriate. Right. Yeah. And I didn't know who he was. So I was talking to him for like 40 something minutes. Amazing. <laughs> and he's like talking about like these things he has going on. Yeah. yeah. And then he gets called up to sing this terrible pop song <laughs> acoustically. And I went, Ugh. <laughs> How was the food? Was the food good? Yeah. I, bet the food oh, I good. missed it. Ah. What? I know I missed the food. It's like the best part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got like a little goodie bag of like stuff people were selling. Did you have and, to like, wear an iPad or no? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. It was did not you, anything. That did you have to wear like anything stickers. in particular? Did, did they make you? Was there a dress code? I wore like a white uh, button down mm-hmm. and white pants. I had okay. to buy. You had to Very buy nice. white pants for this. I mean, yeah. I don't. Damn. Think I, I'm a guy that owns white pants. I feel like it's one of those. If you're, yeah, if you're, I, I if you have the money <laughs> to throw a white party, you should have clothes for people. You should provide the clothes. Yeah. Mm. Have you heard about uh, uh, dinner on Blanc? It's like the thing that happens in the city once a year. No. No. Okay. It is. It is a huge. I mean, it, it happens in a bunch of different cities. I did it one year just to see what it was. It's free. Uh-huh. It's like you sign up, you get you get in a lottery system. I, I applied like years ago. Mm-hmm. And basically, um, you all meet at like a certain meeting point. So it was like near Penn Station. Mm. And then they release to you the location where you go. And it's it's you wear all okay. white and you have to bring your own table and chairs and white tablecloth and like all this stuff. And it's kind of like running with the bulls but not like when they release the location you all like get on the subway together and go to this party and the the time I did it sometimes it's in Central Park yeah. it was like in this park down by Fidei and um, it was crazy I mean I'll probably never do it again because it's really <laughs> a pain in the ass so, like, you gotta carry a table you have to carry a t- and it has to all like you, it doesn't matter what color your table is underneath, but you have to have like a white tablecloth so it all matches. It is kind of crazy. You see <laughs> hundreds of people do it. Yeah, and I all all New Yorkers, Yorkers or whatever. I know. I, I can't what do stand. what yeah. do they supply? <laughs> they just supply the, just the location, just the location and entertainment. How was the entertainment? Oh, okay. It was good. They had some like Broadway singers oh, singing, and they have right. like a huge band, and it's just. It's really interesting, and and you bring your own food and your own drink, and it's like this big weird community thing that you do. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's it was like I did it. It's a one, you know, not once right. in a lifetime thing. People do it every year. I was like, I don't need to do it's that. Again. Like SantaCon. Right. Yes, you did yes. it. You saw it. Yeah. You did the thing. Yeah, I did SantaCon when did I you? first. Oh yeah. Did you have a good time? You know, I, I was young. I was twenty one, twenty two, living in the city. Yeah. I I did have a good time, and then. Every year after, I'm like, wow, that's 
I hate that. <laughs> right. I hate that that happens. The older you get, the more aware of your surroundings. You're like, that's the worst person I've ever that's, seen. Yeah. And I then hate you them. look at the yeah. mirror and you're like, oh, I'm dressed like that person. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know yeah. if it's because I grew up too close, close enough to right, the city right. that I was just like, I want nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. I also mm -hmm. have like a weird, I don't, I don't like crowds. Um, that's not weird, but it's um, a tizzy. Yeah. It's, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't like too many, like Christmas is like, I hate Christmas in New York. Mm. All right. It's my Scrooge least. Scrooge alert. Right. <laughs> I I, but I, I have a good reason. When I, okay, okay. So I grew up, uh, before I moved to Queens, I grew up in Manhattan. I live, we lived way uptown, like mm -hmm. Dykeman Street, right? And every year, I talk about this on stage, every year my mom, we like around Christmas time, we'd go down to like Herald Square. Mm -hmm. and down to Whoville. Right. Yeah. We'd go to Macy's. It's exactly what it was. So you'd go down to Macy's Herald Square and like, my mom had stamina back then. She could be seven hours. She'd be shopping. Wow. And I'm like, I like, it was just a lot of red and green and people shopping. And I'm like, I'm, I, I don't, I don't like it. And it, yeah. it kind of, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's caused a lot of trauma. So <laughs> I can hear it. Once, <laughs> once online shopping became a mm -hmm. thing, I was like, yes. That's uh, it. You I had like almost 20 something years of hating Christmas. Oh my yeah. God. I like, I, I would, it, it would like physically I'd, I'd get high. Like I didn't yeah. like it. Wow. I, that's, I mean, that's fair though. So the thing is about living in New York, like I worked above um, radio city music hall. Mm. Like I worked in the offices above there and every December, all the tourists are, oh are I mean, cause it's mm -hmm. right by the big tree. And so yeah. everyone's like congregating and like, Ooh, and they're taking pictures and I'm like, I'm, I'm going to work. Yeah. Like, I live right. here. Yeah. This is my life. Day. Yeah. yeah. This is just, and you're in the way of my day. I'm they're still trying like to get in. Yeah. yeah. Right. And you want to take a picture of the, the sidewalk. Yeah, exactly. I was talking to someone about how it's like tourists think New Yorkers are rude. And it's like, no, we just no. Live, we here. live here. We're trying to walk to work. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, we're in a rush. We right. This Imagine is not a I vacation. Imagine I came to Kansas and I drove yeah. slowly in yeah. front of you the whole time. Exactly. You, yeah. You'd be pissed. Yeah. I, so my fiance, I go, people from Kansas are rude. My fiance works on Broadway. So like, you know, <laughs> oh. she's, like, I, there's a lot, like almost a, like a lot. I try to go get her mm -hmm. so that, you know, she's not dealing with this by That's herself. So nice. Well, it's not a, Gentleman's we live notes. in Astoria, so yeah. it's not a huge commute yeah. but still like if i've got nothing to do like if i like sometimes I'll, I'll have a show and i'll just like go into the city and meet up with her when when she gets out but it's like i i've gotten to the point now i'm older so i i the trauma isn't there but i mean it's there <laughs> <laughs> but like i yell at people i'm like I, when, or like i'll point out when someone's being stupid like right. when when um someone's walking towards you and you know that they're looking at their, you can you can tell they're not paying attention. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes, I, one time I, I like hit a guy's phone, like up in the air. I'm just like, <laughs> get out of my way, or like right. when someone just look, just look, just where you're look at. up. What I the okay, my biggest pet peeve is when mm -hmm. you're on the subway and you're gonna you're getting off. But then people Someone are, gets on. Oh! The rule is you have to let the people off before you get on. That's mm -hmm. the universal rule. You're not like the train's not gonna leave. It's not, yeah, people let are getting get off. off. Right. You have like 30 seconds to make this work. Right. Right. And that's more than enough time. That's that I I just I'm like, I'll be like, I'm like, I'll 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 yell. I'll be like, I'm not going to <laughs> stay on here. So get the fuck out of get my way. Off. Like it's not hard. And then those people go home and they're like, I met the rudest guy <laughs> right? in New York yeah. City. <laughs> you were blocking the path yeah. to home. <laughs> yeah. And if I miss this stop, my travel is now right. an hour you longer. You have now inconvenienced me. Inconvenienced me. Like, it's the what worst. It, I, like, it's just. The, Nobody should are, be allowed in New York City. No, at all. Actually, yeah. I know we have a, a, a tourist a destination, <laughs> but we don't want any tourists. Here's we don't, I don't want them. I went to. Um, I want I went, a New York wall. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just around the island. Yeah. Yep. I went to I went to Philly and um, in like the middle of like the, the historical district or whatever, mm -hmm. there's like this big, um, I don't know what to call it, but it's like a, a tourist center, basically. Mm -hmm. It's like there's a there's a, a few desks for information, pamphlets, whatever. I th we need that in New York. We need that in Manhattan. You don't have one of those. No, <laughs> people are just people just get people off just... of a bus or a train mm -hmm. or a plane and they're just left to fend for themselves. And they that's don't know. It. But where should, are you going to put a building like that? We don't need the red stairs at Times Square. I was about, okay, I was about to be like the TKTS thing. Yeah, we don't need that Is shit. that our information center? It should be. Except it's not, because yes. that's, yeah. You put it like the PATH train. Yeah, you could, there's yeah. Port you Authority. Put it there, yeah. Yeah. There's a ton of stories. I'm sure Grand Central place, Station yeah. has it. 
like a pamphlet thing. Yeah, yeah but that's specifically for like trains. the trains. Yeah. Right. And like certain tourist that there should be like this should be like this wide open area. Mm-hmm. There's bathrooms and there's, there's a yeah. You mm-hmm. can you can take pictures of certain things and like here is a person whose job mm-hmm. it is and be like, okay, hey, I need to get to this place. How do I get there? And this is that person's job. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, yeah. here's here are the trains. You have the blue line, you've got the red line, you've got the green line, orange line. This is where you need to go. These <sighs> the trains go line. north and south. These buses go east and west. Mm-hmm. Boom. That's right? it. We do. I, people get really confused. And I'm like, we are on a grid. Like, yeah, we right. make it as easy as possible yeah. for you. When you get downtown, it gets a little messy. Sure. But like where they want to go, you're on a grid. Right. It's, it's, it's not really hard. easy, yeah. Right, there's no jug handles. It's not New Jersey. No. Either. Right. Now, if you're trying to get to, like, the outer boroughs, you're trying to get to Brooklyn, That's Queens, different. and there's certain... You try, yeah. Okay. There, sh- there, there should also be someone, people whose jobs are they are to right. be like... But hey, why would tourists be there for... Well, I mean... Peace, what reason? Like, all right, there's people that want to go to, like, Peter Luger's. Okay. True. And that's not easy to get to if Cash you don't know only. what you're doing. Ridiculous. Yeah. That's a New York thing. It's, Be as inconvenient as you can. It's and if insane. somebody it's asks, true. you yell at them. Yeah. It's Did you true. know there's a there's a Peter Luger's on Long Island? You know that? Get out of here. There is a second Peter Luger's on Long Island. It was a very like special occasion restaurant, obviously. We'd go there for like an anniversary where Long or Island? something. Uh, I am forgetting where, but it there is one. I would still rather go to the one in Brooklyn. I hmm. okay. Unpopular opinion. I'm about to get so dragged. I, I don't really like it that much. Okay, I have like, heard it's overrated. Do you like steak? Yes. Okay. I, I have to. Oh, no. I have to admit something just so that you're not like you're a liar. I have not eaten beef or pork in the last like th- couple of years, except recently I ate a burger because it was really delicious, good. Right? Yeah. It was delicious. Um, but throughout my entire life, I've I have eaten steak many many times, and it's just not my favorite. What's a better steak than Peter Luger's? No, because no, don't get me wrong, there are good steakhouses all around New York. Yes, and I'm not saying Peter Luger's is the best, but it's good. I have I think Del Frisco's is better. That's a that's a take. Okay, I, I won't say it's a hot take. It's but that take. is an opinion. I'm not cultured enough. <laughs> it's Del no, Frisco's is a good steak. I'm not going to say Del Frisco's is a good steak. Yeah. And I'm trying to think of where else, but it's just like the, the other thing. And again, I, I know I'm going to get some heat. Um, <laughs> it's more than just the steak, right? Like when I go to a steak place, yeah. I want, I'm go, I'm there for the sides. I want the cream spinach and I want fair. the cornbread and or whatever That's else. Fair. The potatoes at, at Luger's are pretty good though. They're okay. And like one of their sides is tomatoes and onion. And That's I'm true. like, that is true. What's going on here? <laughs> Did you give me pico? Yeah. <laughs> and it's raw. Where's it Chipotle? It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's literally Get raw tomato. tomato. Out of here. <laughs> it's it and they don't even That's do anything true. to it. I it's raw on tomato it and, and onion. Back. That is fair. And I'm like, y'all need to step it up with I the just side. Don't, I just don't order that. I, and I feel that, but like, you know, somewhere like Del Frisco's, they got like, oh, really nice cream spinach and yeah, like cornbread and pudding important. and stuff like that. Those things, the mashed potatoes, like that is yeah. what I really mm-hmm. go to a steak place for more than. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> get, get, get your raw tomato and onion <laughs> out of here. There's a really good steakhouse in. Taco uh, Bell ass. I know. <laughs> There's a really good steakhouse in Greenpoint called Amber that Ooh, I like. Okay, mm-hmm. they're they're pretty good. They're, they're and they have good sides. Nice. Um, like you start off with uh, with like a you could do a, a steak tartare. Mm. Um, uh, it's it's pretty good though. Okay. Um, my favorite. It's not a steakhouse. It's not in New York either. Um, Knife and Fork Inn. Where is it? Atlantic City. And it's a great steak. Oh my god. Mm. Okay. Wow. Filet mignon. Don't need a knife. Ooh, yeah, like that, butter, the, mm. like butter. Oh wow! Like okay. if you get it in season, if you can go in season, they have a lobster risotto that I would <sighs> punch my mother for. I lo- lovely lady, but lovely lady, but she's I not making no mom. lobster. <laughs> I would, we would be scrapping for some lobster risotto. <laughs> That's great. Uh, it's it's my so me, my friends and I usually when somebody when one of us is somebody's getting married, mm. we'll recommend we'll go to Knife and Fork. Mm-hmm. Uh, have a nice dinner. If you get it, like you get enough people, maybe ten or more, they they put you in the wine room, mm-hmm. and we just bottles of red constantly going around. It's that's a good that's a good. Uh, that's a good time. So it's it's where um, you guys are watching. You have you watched Boardwalk Empire? I haven't, but I that's on my list. I know it's another good one. That's and a, yeah. It's yeah. It's up my alley. So so uh, in real life, so 
Steve Buscemi's character is based on a real guy. Right. I heard um, that. Mm-hmm. And that's where during Prohibition, like the old time gangsters like Luca Luciano and mm-hmm. Meyer Lansky, they all used to go there because it was a meeting place. They could the New York guys could come from New York right. and mm-hmm. make the Jersey people. Exactly. That. They went to Knife and Fork. They went to Knife and Fork in. Okay. And I so I have a thing for like historical mm-hmm. places. Yes. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll definitely do that. Okay. So you're in Atlantic City. Yeah. Bachelor party, mm-hmm. knife, knife, knife and, and fork. fork. It's strip club? Tri- stri- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a strip club called, called Stilettos. Very nice. Uh, it's, it's a B- nice name. Yeah, it's BYOB. I, I, I do like the name, yeah. It's BYOB. That's uh, kind of cool it's, and But it's different. also full okay. nude. Because you can either have a liquor license. What? Full nude. Full nude. Oh, full nude. I thought you said it's full nude. I'm like, yeah, what's yeah. full nude? That's a, that's a, uh, no. Is that an Italian reference? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's full nude. Yeah, yeah. It's full nude. That's it's when like you have a strip bing. club, yeah. full nude. Yeah. So... <laughs> Um, well, the real, okay. The whole weekend is usually like, we'll get there. We'll go to, we'll go to noodle house at, in, in the Borgata. Okay. Um, rest up next day, go to the Harrow's pool party, mm-hmm. take a nap, go to knife and fork in for dinner, mm-hmm. then go to stilettos. Mm. Very nice. I've been to Atlantic city twice. It's fine. Yeah. It's, I it's, mean, twice. I didn't have a very fun time either. Thing way. is, it's, it's so far away that you have to have an amazing time. It, it mm-hmm. is pretty for far. Be, I went yeah. there for 4th of July weekend once. And That's a lot. It was, uh, it was at Revel, which like doesn't yeah. exist anymore. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They mm-hmm. got, I think they got bought they out. They got bought. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It was, I mean, it was a cool hotel, mm-hmm. but, um, they have, they have the, uh, sandwich shop in Atlantic city. That's very good though. Have you heard of this place? I don't know. Oh, it's my like brother actually just went there. The white. Yeah, White House or something like that. I'm like, mm-hmm. and yeah, he he brought me back a uh, a Philly cheesesteak. Good. They have really good sandwiches there. Yeah, yeah, it was too big. Okay, yeah, no, they're huge. Mm. It was like like that, like an arm. But yeah. it was it was like like a hero. Yeah. Okay. And I ate it over the course of like three days. <laughs> yeah. Just like a snake with a mouth. You just like slowly, yeah. yeah. Um. I know it's like every conversation we have, it just it comes back to food because yeah. that's all I'm thinking about oh, at yeah. all times. There's yeah. a there's yeah. a it's my, actually a very Italian episode. My yeah. blood my blood sugar is super low right now, so I'm I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. Okay, can, yeah, but we're gonna eat after. We're this. fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, there's a there's a sandwich shop in the city that uh, it's like an Italian sandwich shop that my it's it's in the theater district. I got I got text Antico, maybe maybe. It's it's the place that was from Florence that came here. Yes. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Yes. Very, very man. good. You guys are up on your restaurant uh, culture. I'm, I'm a, a very obsessed with oh, food. Oh, yeah. yeah. Love to eat. <laughs> Love to eat. I got to eat with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I My favorite, yeah, and you guys, I talk about food on stage mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I I used to do a 10-minute bit about bread. <laughs> As you should. Yeah. yeah. I used to, I had, a, I, had a, I, had a, I had a, it was a 10 minute bit because I I did my top 10 favorite breads of all time. Mm. And then I would compare them to 90s basketball players, which is where I would lose people. <laughs> it's not yeah, the bread see. bit yeah. that lost people, it was the it's basketball the, yeah, reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. But I still have, I cut it down to my top it to three. other breads. Oh, no, that's not now fair. The, now there's like 20 breads. That's not fair then. That's a lot. You know? What I, are your top three? My top three, my number one favorite bread is brioche. Brioche is a great bread. Yeah. Can't go wrong. A lot it's of good a, buns. Jordan of breads, guys. It's the Jordan of breads. Okay, mm. yeah. I want to hear the comparisons. Uh, my yeah. number two favorite bread of all time is um, ciabatta. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm, I love a ciabatta. That's the Scotty Pippen of breads. Okay. Because okay. here's the thing. I love ciabatta, but like you need like butter, mayo, mm-hmm. olive oil, help. something. You need, you need something on it. You need something. It's not, not going to just bite into a ciabatta. Yeah. Yeah. By itself, it's not going to get you there. Okay. It needs teammates. Um uh, <laughs> My number three, I love my number three favorite bread of all time, English muffins. Real, that wow. came out of oh, left field. Wow, man. I was thinking English pretzel muffins. bun might be in there, challah bread maybe. Yeah, love English muffins, dude. English muffins. Yeah, wow. a to- a nice, a, a nicely That's a toasted. Kicker. Is that Isaiah man. Thomas? Is that yeah? Because it's Bogues. small. Muggsy Bogues. Muggsy Bogues. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like I, what I love to do is like like a a burger on an English muffin, mm. a well toasted English muffin. Okay. Burger. Lettuce, tomato, cheese, the whole, like, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The problem is English muffins are too small, like Muggsy Bogues. They just couldn't hold up oh, to wow. the rigors of the NBA. That's, I see. these are good. I yeah. don't know how you lost people because these are good. Well, well, once you get into like the four or five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe just stick to three. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the baguette on there? Because like, that's what I- don't I, like the French. Sure. I have a problem with the French as a Haitian mm. person. Okay. No, no, no. That's fair. I do. Yeah. I do like, um, I do like a, a baguette though. I do like a French baguette, but I, I'm not going to. Mm. I'm not gonna rank it because just, I don't want to. That I don't want to give into the colonizers. Don't give anything to them. No, but I feel like the Italians. We make Italian bread, which is basically like a baguette. 
man, no, that's okay. I'm I'm alive. It's fine. Um, you, my blood sugar is super low. Uh, oh my god, do we need to give him a Twix? I'm like, I don't know. some OJ would be great, but I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, go get some coffee, spit it in my mouth, and then I'll spit it in Stan's We're mouth. We're gonna baby Just bird cream. the coffee. Oh man, um, I do love Italian breads. Yeah. Focaccia? Focaccia. Ah. Dude, what? Forget about it. What, so when I worked at La Pocora Bianca, mm-hmm. you could get, they had meatballs as an appetizer. Mm-hmm. It came with focaccia, warm mm-hmm. focaccia. Dip that in the meatball sauce. Mm. Oh, That's man. Good. You got to have bread to sop everything yes. up. That's, That's the right. key to any meal. That might be my favorite mm-hmm. Italian bread. That's how you focaccia. clean your bowl. You got to yeah. take yeah. your piece of bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in there. And if get it's like there. a soup, even better. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I love the soups more with the bread more mm-hmm. than I love like their tomato sauce. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pasta fajol. Yeah. Get Can't in there. Can't go wrong. It's yeah. just... Um, I, did you guys see the menu, by the way? Yes. Did no. you? You didn't no, see it? I didn't okay. see the menu. Great movie. Great I movie. I saw the bear. Bear's good. Wait. The Wait, bear? The show? The show, the yeah. bear? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's yeah. very good. So, uh, the reason I ate beef for the first time in like three years hmm. was because... <laughs> this is <laughs> just because I'm going to keep food on the mind. But I was in L.A., and we passed this burger place and they said they were they had like some collab or something with the menu mm-hmm. and they were making the burger from the menu. And I was like, mm. I will I will have to eat beef yeah. for this. Like, mm. I have to try it. And it was one of the best burgers I've ever had in my life. Wow. This is, so it it's like way nicer than remember when we were kids and like there'd be like a commercial for like a food thing <laughs> yeah. mixed yeah, with yeah. a movie. Yeah. And, and it's it like this good. is the Batman pizza yeah. and it just comes <laughs> it burnt. Awful. Yeah. And it's like green goop and yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> or this like a was Shrek related meal. Yeah. <laughs> you should you should see the menu. It's very good. It's really good. Yep. It's, I gotta watch it. This isn't a spoiler I'll at all. I'll watch it tonight. Yeah. This isn't a spoiler at all. But the burger she's referencing. There so it's at the, the whole, end. Yeah, it's at the end. So the whole I gotta wait the whole movie for this burger. Yeah, yeah. It, it, but it is so worth the con- it. the whole concept of the movie is like these Probably, people. Yeah. These people are specifically invited to this island to to try this menu that this chef has curated Very for fancy. them. Yeah. Oh wow! And at the end, is this the Bradley Cooper one? No, this Ralph that's Fine. this is Ray, yeah Ralph. Or, Fine. Sorry, Ray, Ray Fine, not Ralph. It's Ralph. Is it's it? Just, it's I. It's, come on. I'm like, well, first of all, I was calling it's, him Ralph Fiennes. Yeah. For a it's long time. R-A-L-P-H. Oh, okay. Now I know who you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. It's R A L P H. That's you say. That's <laughs> yeah. Like, when you said Fiennes, I was like, yeah, that's the guy. Yeah. Well, Voldemort, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, like, yeah. That's, also, that's how his I know. brother's <laughs> name Joseph. How you go from Rafe to Joseph? It's Ralph. I, it's My just man, a silly ass name. I'm like, come on. Well, I'm gonna. T- we're gonna tag him in this. I'm gonna be like, my my, my man. Yeah. Your name's Ralph. It's too hard to pronounce. <laughs> All right, we're going to Photoshop Voldemort in a chef's hat. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> That's exactly the thumbnail. <laughs> but not, so at the end yeah. of the movie, like the one of the one of the characters mm-hmm. like she she says she wants a burger. Mm-hmm. Like that's and like you find out there's a past that where he's he's a burger guy mm-hmm. early on mm-hmm. whatever. It's a great mm-hmm. movie though. Yeah. Great movie. And I will say like, you know, everything that he says that he put in the burger they put it in mm. and it's like caramelized onions yeah yeah and like two patties american cheese whatever you know special sauce mm-hmm. it was it blew my mind it was so so good and it was just from this how long ago was that i was in la like two weeks ago yeah um so i don't know if they still have it but it was a place called irv's burgers in west hollywood oh, okay um if we have any la listeners would you like. would you have you not eaten red meat since uh, no, except I had it two times that weekend. <laughs> you went back That's how good it was. <laughs> That's how good it was. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to a hell in a handbag. And I had in and out Why is it? Oh, how was that? I've never had that. So you went burger I, nuts. I went burger crazy. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it while I'm in LA. And then I'm going to go back to not doing it. Um, but I like I, that you go to the city where people... <laughs> Totally shit on this. Oh, I yeah. know. They're like, I'm vegan, and I'm like, I'm eating your burgers. Right. There's so many burger joints in LA. It's like, yeah, it's a thing. Um, I don't know why, but I've had In and Out before, and I mm. love it, and I wanted to have it before I left. And That's so on I my did. bucket list. I gotta, I gotta try that. Mm. It's you know, it is really good. I also think like our Shake Shack is that, and Shake I Shake Shack is fine. I love Shake Shack. It's not my. It's I've had. I think there are better burgers. Okay, in New York. that's fair. You can, better fast food burgers though. No, no. Okay, so that I think Smash Burger is on in that in that world is a okay. better mm-hmm. fast food burger than Five Guys. I mean, than then Shake Shack. Shake Shack. I also like huh. Five Guys a lot. I Five guys, Five guys. I like that one. I like the customization of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what, um, exactly. It's a very greasy burger. Yeah. Very greasy. I don't love their fries. Did you guys? Did you guys know that there's an uh, an unlimited bacon hack at Five Guys? What? Yeah, you can. Sorry, 
he's he's dying actively. Toffee next to on us. the set. <laughs> Something. Does get him a Butterfinger. Does anybody have a Reese's? I would love a Reese's. <laughs> Even just a raisin, if you have it. Or one raisin. <laughs> You're not you when you're hungry. You're dead. <laughs> I'm like, get this man a yeah. Snickers. <laughs> there, there's no like, oh, you're in a bad mood. There's <laughs> this is yeah. Um, you go to hell. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> what what were we talking about? Uh, five guys. Green oh, you can't think anymore. Your memory <laughs> shot. <laughs> Just we look over and he's like slumped. Yeah, slumped down. I'll be fine. Uh, um, so are you tired? Is that what I'm no? I just, like if I get sweaty, then you start to worry. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. oh God. All right. Yeah. We're on sweat patrol. Yeah, Jesus. Um, no. So there's a hack. Okay. Oh, with the bacon. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you, they, they, there's no limit on the amount of bacon you can ask for on your burger. What? There's, you can, what? so you can be like, yeah. I just want to stock up for the week. I don't want to do groceries. I would just want a pound of bacon. Well, what you could do is order a burger mm-hmm. and just ask for extra bacon. Mm-hmm. And if the extra bacon is not enough bacon, just keep asking for more. They they can't say no. Legally. Can I ask for a handful of bacon that you just went? I don't. <laughs> I don't. I feel like you have to order it with something. Mm. Right, right. Okay. But they, they can't All say right, no so to the amount of extra bacon you I'll want. I'll take a regular uh, burger. No, mm-hmm. I don't even want a cheeseburger. Yeah, just, regular. just a regular hamburger. Right. Uh, and I want a, uh, like a, a Will Chamberlain full, yeah. hand just <laughs> full of bacon. Of bacon. I want a palm of basketball hand of bacon. There's a guy. There's a guy on TikTok and on Instagram. Is he goes by Jordan Stallion, something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like a, and he, it's just all fast food hacks. Okay. Hmm. Like things that they don't want you to know. It's right. hilarious. Well, this is the thing. I'm gonna go do that and be like, they're gonna be like, "Ma'am, we're escorting you off the property." And I'm gonna be like, "Stan yeah. told me I could do no, this." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't want you to know these things. Yeah, if I do, they'll go. I know the divorce is rough, but yeah. you don't have to. You do don't it. have to do this. <laughs> I. It, here's the thing about fast food places. If you if you say stuff, they'll. If you email them, they will respond. Mm. I got an email the other day from McDonald's. Same. Really? Yeah. I so I had they have a new sandwich called the Bacon McCrispy. How is it? Uh. Neither it was ba- it was there was not crispy mm. Mm. and it could have been ranchier. It's, it okay, was, it's called the bacon ranch McCrispy. First off, I asked for the deluxe, didn't get tomato. What the fuck is up with that? Whoa, gotta go to Pierre uh, Luger's for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that raw tomato, <laughs> right? I should yeah, I just <laughs> circle back. Um, so I I I I what did I I um I complained about it on Twitter, and then they tweeted me. They were like, uh, let us know what the issue was. So I, I filled it out yeah. and then they emailed me back and they were like, first, cause it, also in the email, I was like, while we're at it, what happened to the chicken fajitas and what happened to the mixed skillet burrito? Bring those back. And they were wow. like, those aren't like on the corporate menu. Those are up to the franchisees. And if you, what you can ask your local franchisee to bring them back. And I'm like, they, you can That's ask for whatever rule. you want. You can ask for whatever they, there, you can ask for wow. soup at McDonald's. Do they have soup? Uh, some locations have what? a mix have a mixed soup. What is yeah. in it? Chicken nuggets. I don't nuggets? know. I don't know. I don't know. Nuggets and water. This is, <laughs> this is what the email said. Where did? Let me see. Wait, if that's I could, crazy. If I can pull up the email, I'm telling you, this is they and it was they were very nice about it. Yeah. McDonald's. Can you give me there we fry go. Fry oil with a burger in it. <laughs> right. Uh, McDonald's customer care. Hi, Stanley. Thank you for your time. Your, thank you for taking the time to contact McDonald's. We truly appreciate customer feedback and welcome this opportunity to share some information with you. We're delighted to hear that you enjoy eating McDonald's chicken fajitas and McSkillet breakfast burritos. By the way, <laughs> we're delighted. I haven't eaten them in years. You stop making them. Right. How do I know <laughs> if I like them anymore? Right. Uh, <laughs> you ever go back to McDonald's like as like an older person yeah. and then you like, I loved this thing and now you're like this is gross right? this yeah. is terrible yeah. I'm actually this. the opposite I, I didn't I didn't like the Big Mac growing up and now I love the Big Mac can I tell you a Big Mac story yes please yes. so uh, when I grew up in, uh, in Florida we had this mm-hmm. lady uh, who was friends her, her son was friends with my brother yeah mm-hmm. and this kid is this kid named Mikey and he was a big, big kid. Mm-hmm. And he had kidney stones twice. Whoa. As a child? 12. That's crazy. That's very young. Yeah. Nuts, right? I think he's probably dead. And his brother, <laughs> gay. But <laughs> Totally related. Dead right? or gay. Yeah, that's yeah. all the two options. That's one, Florida for you. That's the two kids. Yeah. Uh, and I, Yeah. The, the other brother, the gay one, he was uh, older. And uh, my mom would go like, be friends with Frankie. I'd be like, no. And not because he was gay. Because he was autistic. But... <laughs> Man, that's a Whoa. that's that's a that, he right. was dealt a tough card. 
Right. So can you Stan's please dying. just I'm order sorry. a smoothie or something? It's fine. No, no, your diabetes is bad for the podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's ruining the podcast. <laughs> Dude, we're not going to get sponsors it's now. I was should, trying to get a sponsor by Domino Sugar. Yeah. And, <laughs> and they're like, this diabetic ass host just, is uh, Just pack packets of sugar. I'm just housing them. Oh, thank. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Uh, actually, no. Uh, just, this is going to sound just crazy. Get it. I don't eat. I don't like fruit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is why you got diabetes. <laughs> Yeah, can you have something more processed, please? <laughs> if it was applesauce, I'd be all over it. I, oh my god! Oh, if it's if it's blended, yeah. he'll eat it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's oh my god! Thing. You earned. I hope you lose a leg. Oh god! <laughs> Jesus, Christ. that was so funny. Oh my god! <laughs> Where he's like, actually, no. Those are those That's are actually, awesome. <laughs> my doctor says I should eat apples, and I yeah. I'm like, Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, because, you know, he's wrong. Right. Doctors, <laughs> literally, it's the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Right. Not, not in my lifetime. I'll tell you that. Oh, man. <laughs> can you candy the apple? Yeah, can oh, you just put you? it in caramel it in, really yeah, quick? Yeah. yeah. I'd be all <laughs> over it. Some nuts on it? I don't know. <laughs> okay, Big Mac story. Big, Big Mac, Mac. All right, so this lady, her name was Narisa, yeah. which mm -hmm. uh, she bragged about her name all the time. Mm. And yeah. And it, it, she said it, it's, uh, it's Greek. Yeah. And one day... I, uh, I I I uh, I I tried to translate it because me and my mom didn't actually like this lady, but uh, I translate and it, it uh, translates to a sea nymph, mm. and she is like a trollish looking lady. Okay, yeah. you know this lady that feeds her son uh, with kidney stones, Big Macs. Um, Nymphs are like cute little fairies. Yeah, yeah, like Tinkerbell. Right. Yeah. So when she wasn't around, we, me and my mom would go, "Oh, it's water whore." <laughs> <laughs> Solid. It's a good joke. Yeah, it was fun. Um, and and uh, she had my mom's number. My mom would stay friendly with her because mm -hmm. she always got these big bottles of like Xanax and shit. Mm -hmm. And my mom wanted the hook up, Florida. Hell yeah! <laughs> I saw your face. Yeah, no, 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 I was just processing it. Yeah, I would, I would do that for some Xanax. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. So that's the long. Island now topic. we have to be friends with her kids, and she has to be friends with her. This is lady Narisa calls my mom at like. I don't know, it has to be like 1 a.m. And I could hear the phone call. <gasps> and she goes, I can't move, Christine. I'm having a Big Mac attack. Could you? <laughs> what? Could you go get one and bring it to me? Cheese, please. <laughs> what? A yeah. Big Mac attack? Yeah. That's like what when you have a heart that? attack for Big Macs? No, I think that yeah. was like a commercial thing. Like oh. in like McDonald's commercials, like I'm having a Big Mac attack. Blah, bread and I bread, need was to she have was it. she like a big old lady that couldn't move like the whale? She wasn't that big. She was just gross lazy? looking lady. Was she lazy? Oh, she, uh, super lazy. But like you know, trollish. She didn't have a neck. Um, only ever wore a house dress. Even when she was like going somewhere, house she's dress. the mom from Gilbert Grape. Got it. Yeah, yeah, she's like the mom from Gilbert Grape with like like half the size. Wow. But still a big. So lady. did your mom get her a Big Mac? She went and did it, and then she was like, "Fine, but you gotta, you gotta give me give some me stuff. Xanax." Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, yeah. what a hero! Your mom actually got that lady a Big Mac. Yeah, yeah. And I was, I, I made fun of her for months for that. That's pretty crazy. Made fun of your mom? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Appropriate. Because yeah. you deserve. Yeah. That. <laughs> you got up. One a.m. Yeah, that was the most bizarre thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm having a Big Mac attack. That's the funniest yeah. thing. And because my mom talks on the phone on speaker, so I yeah. can hear the yeah. whole thing, and you know, thin walls. And Sometimes you have a Big Mac attack, and people are not talking about that enough. I think, That's right. I think what this lady invented. Was Uber I, I Eats. wish she actually had the 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 right kind of attack. Oh, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think she invented Uber Eats. That's yeah, no, yes, did. that is what that is. Right. She called this lady. She called it up. That's that's wild. Yeah. Yeah. Because she didn't want to get into a car. That's wild. Yeah, I hated. Was their this house in Orlando? Though. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Well, you know, in the in the surrounding yeah. towns of Orlando, it's yeah. surrounded by poverty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, that's the kind of person that is in almost every house. Yeah. Like all of Got my you. friends either went to jail or had children. Those are the two options. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sounds talking very, like right after high school. Yeah. 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 That sounds very Long Island. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a lot of similarities. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I say I, how much I like. I live in Staten Island now. Mm -hmm. And it's just hot. Staten Island. Uh, Florida's just hot Staten Island. Yeah. Yeah. That it's makes just, a lot of sense. Yeah. Staten Island with warm weather. And I feel like Long Island's a lot of similar. Long Island is very similar. It's it's weird. There's pockets of 
I, I don't know. I, again, I have no right. hometown pride. I pockets of money, and then there's pockets where there's no money at all. And a lot, of, a lot of just strip malls. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm sure this was once cute, but now it's just strip malls. Yeah, right. Yeah. This used to be marshlands with herons and and yeah. deer walk walking through it. Exactly, and yeah. the Algonquins and like whatever those yeah. guys. Yeah, those yeah. guys. And then it was just. Um, and like then it was Italian pizza place, uh, nail boss. salon, yeah, right. bagel, bagel boss, nice, yes, Great bagel reference. boss. That guy died. What? Yeah, did he? The boss. Yeah, yeah. Well, Whoa. no, that the, remember the, the the little guy that oh, the that guy that viral? was screaming in a big bagel yeah. boss. Yeah. Yes, I yeah, remember yeah. this. Started doing stand up. He started doing stand up yeah, and then that. died. Yeah, yeah. Died, yeah. Good. died at, an, at an open mic. I think. Now I just need ti. I swear to God, I'm he pretty died sure at an open mic. Didn't I send you this? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he died at an open mic. Wow, which, guys... which Long Island open mic was it? It's probably like Governor's or something. Governor's? <laughs> he's like, eh, what's the deal there playing food? And then he died. <laughs> That's incredible. He was like, you're not my father. And then he died. I, I you he's know. Got t- he's got merch. RIP to that guy. Yeah. He went off on a bagel bus and yeah. just then took tried the, took the Took the island by storm. Yeah, he did. I he remember Took the world that. by storm. Yeah. Yep. You're That's not so funny. Was it? You're not my father. <laughs> you're not my father. Or God. Or God. Or my boss. <laughs> In that order. <laughs> In that order. What's okay, what's your bagel order? Oh. oh. Okay. Um I I I will depending on where I go, mm-hmm. um, depending on the cream cheese if they what they have, mm-hmm. I'll do whatever specialty cream cheese they have, but I'll I do um everything bagel. Okay. Mm-hmm. Toasted. Yep. Um with um cream cheese. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't want to say bacon, egg, and cheese because that's a, that's a special treat for not all the time. Sure, sure. Okay, yeah, that's um, true. I very much like an egg bagel with cream cheese mm. and lox. Okay. Okay, very nice. Right. So I have one, I have like a normal order and then a specialty order. Um, Normal order, this is going to sound weird, I am a salt bagel person. Oh. Not, mm. I feel like no one is is like that because it's too much salt. That's a lot of salt. It's a lot of salt, but I like it Okay, um, with cream cheese. But if it's like a special time, I will get, um, you know, like a plain bagel with tuna salad and American cheese. It's a tuna melt. Interesting. Yeah, tuna melt. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, re- it's really good, but I don't melt it. I, sometimes yeah. I will. Yeah, but sometimes know, I just leave it's it okay. raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a place in New Jersey. I can't remember where. I have mm-hmm. to find out. But uh, I went camping one time, mm-hmm. and on the way back, I think it was in Nutley. Okay, um, I know Nutley. Yeah. There's a there's a place that they make. I guess it's an egg bagel, but they bake egg and cheese into it. <gasps> egg, bacon, bacon and cheese into it. So you can get a bacon egg and cheese on a bacon egg and cheese. That's incredible. Yeah. This is a long time ago. I don't know if it still exists. That just stressed but, me out. What yeah. a time to be alive. I'm so glad right? that that exists. That we do these bastardizing things right? to food. <laughs> I'm fine with it. Yeah. <laughs> we we should wrap up. Uh, we've been talking. We didn't get to Sopranos at all, ironically. What time I is know, it? We got... It's 8 o'clock. Really? Um, yeah, it is, it is oh. 8 o'clock. All right. We're going to have you back on for a Sopranos. We, yeah, we, we got to talk yeah, about the Sopranos. Just Wait, Sopranos. Before, one thing I will do yeah. that is in honor of the Sopranos is I'll do the uh, Carmela nail tab. Oh, please. Thank you. ASMR. That's what it sounds like. But Tony. Like oh. Tony. Get over here. Okay, that's it. <laughs> it's like Charmaine. Charmaine deserved better. She deserved better. She did. Better yeah, than like Artie Buko. That oh, cook. That Ugh. bastard. Ugh. <laughs> what, a, what a cook. Just a pest. He's always upset, <laughs> bald idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the food at Vesuvio. It mediocre. looks fine. And it's all dress. Yes. It looked fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was the, the the presentation of the restaurant. What was that, that restaurant they went to? That, Actually, uh, it was just like Vesuvio, the mountain, because every, all the food is covered in <laughs> dust. Covered in ash. Yeah. What was, there was a season where the, there was you another, <laughs> there was another <laughs> restaurant that opened that they all started going to. Oh yeah. And it was like yeah. fucked up. Yeah. Cause... And then like, and like Artie Buka was like upset. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It was like, have better food, Artie. Yeah, you better start bringing it, Vesuvio. Right. You know how you know the food the food wasn't as good is because uh, they went Johnny, to an Indian restaurant Johnny Sack, after. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Johnny Sack and his wife didn't go. That's true, and that's Although how you know. By the way, I, I not this. Uh, so I got engaged recently. Congrats! Yes, and thank you. And one of the places that I wanted to check out, I had to. I knew I couldn't afford it, mm-hmm. but I had to go to Leonard's. Uh, <gasps> Leonard's. Uh, is it Palazzo? Mm. What is it? Uh, the wait for the venue, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So fun fact. Yeah. My mom and dad, who are divorced now, but <laughs> they, they got married at Leonard's. Yes, yes. They got married at Leonard's. <laughs> All I go. want, if you I had the money, out satin dolls. Where's that? <laughs> oh, they- 
The beer? It's a good one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all I want, if I could afford it, mm-hmm. is just to get married at Leonard's and just, I would pay people to dress up like the FBI mm. to and come to drag me away. I'll do it. Yeah? I will dress up. I'll do that for free. That's your wedding present for me. <sighs> We already got a venue, though. We already got a venue. Cancel. I can just do it at the other venue. It's, just, it's, yeah, up, just... it's upstate. Oh, okay, it's, uh, okay. So what? So what? It's <laughs> like when, when uh, uh, Frank Vincent, when he's like, Phil Leotardo, he's like, I'm just saying, the man cried. It's like, it's, it's his daughter's wedding. It's his daughter's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, I did, I did, uh, I my, my friend Paulie got married at Leonard's. At the pork mm-hmm. store? Yeah, <laughs> the pork star. Uh, he got married at Leonard's, and I was I I was I got ordained mm-hmm. to do really their efficient. wedding. I did. Mm-hmm. I was the official of that wedding. There you go. So, so you got to see it. I I and I stood outside. It was great. There you um, go. Did you cry? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I had to for the for the culture. I yeah, had to for the culture. It. Uh, Britt, what do you got coming? What do you, what do you got coming up? So I have uh, a bi-monthly show, meaning every other month at Union Hall. The next one is May 21st. It's called Me Cats Presents Sunday Sauce. It is also Italian-themed. Nice. Um, I'm going to be going to the Alaska uh, Alaska Before You Die Comedy Festival nice. in a, a week or so, which I'm pumped about. If you're in Alaska, come see me. <laughs> Juno, we're calling you out. <laughs> Anchorage, um, and that's uh, that's pretty much it. I'm at Brady Megs across all social platforms. Follow her; nice. she's hilarious. Thank she you. does a ton of characters, great sketches. The one you just did with Arena, Very the fun. lawyers, <laughs> hilarious. Nick, what do you got coming up? Uh, let's see. Tomorrow, uh, 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 Craft House in Staten Island and Young Ethel's. Uh, nice. Two of those. Wow. Uh, Have fun traveling there. It's going to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the thirtieth in West Nyack, I am going to do a uh, a charity show for the. Um, it's for a pot, the Bud Rebel show. They're okay. doing a comedy thing. Cool. I don't know. There's a charity. He um, knows them. He <laughs> just eat him in that. Yeah. <laughs> They're great guys. Uh, the 31st, I'll be in Long Beach Island again. Woo! You did that Nardi's show. Tavern, that's a great show. Love Nardi's. Uh, April 1st, Applejack's in Keensburg, Long Island, uh, uh, New Jersey. Uh, the 10th, Eastville Comedy Club of April. And the 21st, Freddy's Bar. Hell yeah. Uh, this Sunday coming up, the 26th, uh, I'm QED for Leap of Faith. Uh, April 3rd, I'm at I'm doing hot sets at Pete's Candy Store. Nice. Uh, the 6th, I'm also at QED, uh, Bad and Beige. I'm doing that in uh, Pine Box Rock Shop on the 7th. Um, and then I'm also on on that show at, on, at Eastfield Comedy Club on the 10th. Ah! Oh, I made Very the flyer nice. today. Yeah. <laughs> so come out to those. Uh, you can hit us up at Funny Man Stan, at Nick Hara Comedy. Just Nick Hara underscore. Yeah. And, and our guest. At, at Brit, Britty Miggs. Is it Britty Miggs or Britty Yeah, Miggs? I, I got to change that. It's B-R-I-T-T-Y-M-I-G-S. I don't know why it's Britty. No good. one calls me Britty. It's just... Britty. Britty. <laughs> I think it's brittle. Brittle. Yeah, brittle like Miggs. Skittle. Yeah. I'm going to change it to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaking of Skittles, we got to get some in stand before he dies. He yes. will pass away. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> so, goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.